I'm back to Paula's Quarantine Cooking Shows. But you know what? I think we're gonna have to find another name for this show because I truly feel like we're on the tail end of our quarantine. Hopefully very soon our problems are gonna be over with. Uh, but I'm not gonna stop my cooking shows because I have loved reconnecting with y'all again and I get so many cards, so many letters, so many recipes, and I love each and every one of y'all, and I love the fact that we are um, conversing. So, let's think of a new name, okay? Y'all help me, help me. <laughs> so, I am gonna start off, I'm gonna get this started, and then we're gonna talk. You wanna talk, Teresa? <laughs> Let's talk. We'll talk. <laughs> all right, now where's my other sheet? I had another sheet, but I don't know what I did with it. This one, but it's the anyway, same. Oh, it's the same thing? Yes, ma'am. Just, oh, that may be a little easier for me to read. Uh, I'm gonna make a chocolate chest pie today. And this recipe and request was sent in from Stacy Thompson. And uh, this, this pie uh, was served at the Angus Barn in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Stacy loves this pie. So she was gracious, as a, gracious enough <laughs> to send me the recipe, and she's tweaked it a little bit. So I'm gonna make it just like Stacy does, and. Uh, like I said, I so appreciate y'all's recipes. I just like, I like hearing what, what y'all like out there and what y'all are doing. So I'm gonna put a stick and a half of butter in um, a double ball or a what, whatever, uh, thank you, whatever kind of uh, pot you're using. And that's, like I said, that's over boiling water. And so we're gonna melt our butter. Our, let's see how much, Teresa, I can't even remember. Uh, an ounce and a half of unsweetened baker's chocolate. And then <laughs> Stacy said that she added this to the recipe. A handful of Ghirardelli's unsweetened chocolate. I think no, she's bittersweet. bittersweet, bittersweet chocolate. She said, cause she just wanted it a little bit richer than what it was. So we are richer. All right, so we're just gonna let that melt and I'm, all I have to do is just stir it occasionally. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Cause, you know, we're gonna talk. <laughs> what was in that? Oh, the chocolate, I've already put that in there. Yawn. Look at me, I done put on my makeup today. <laughs> you look so pretty. Well, thank you. Um, I told you to tell them how pretty you are. I ain't telling them how pretty I am because I, I don't think I'm all that pretty. But I tell you what, uh, powder and paint makes us what we ain't. <laughs> I'm addicted to powder and paint. So anyway, how, how many months now have, when did life stop for us? March? March. March 17th. March 17th. We had no St. Patrick's Day. That's exactly right. They canceled St. Patrick's Day. And you know, Savannah has the second largest celebration of St. Patrick's Day in the United States. Second only behind New York City. And I think they canceled theirs too, didn't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. So hopefully we're getting back to, to normal. But that's March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Seven months. Tell them how your eyes doing because yes. remember, you've been off a little bit. That, yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Okay. You know, we've been in quarantine for seven months. Almost eight months, right, Eddie? Yes. And um, so when we were quarantined, I started thinking about, you know, what can I do to just have the ability to pop in uh, to people's phones or iPads or computers and just cheer them up a little bit. And uh, so Bobby said, Mama, please, please do a cooking show on YouTube. 
So I asked Eddie, I said, why am I not doing it? He said, I don't know. Nobody knew why I wasn't doing it. We hadn't thought of it. Uh, so I started doing it and you saw me in a much more casual, uh, Atmosphere. In my real way, <laughs> in, in my real self, you know, with yeah, in my atmosphere. So last night, I had a two-hour show uh, with JTV, and JTV is Jewelry Television, and I have a line of uh, jewelry that uh, I come on with, and. So it just got me all hyped up last night. What is Emily's last name? I can't remember. Peterson. Pierce, that's right. Emily Pierce. P no, Peterson. Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Peterson. Uh, one of the most wonderful, sweet girls you could ever hope to meet does my hair and makeup. And nobody can do it like Emily. Well, Emily came in yesterday and did my hair and makeup and I did my show on JTV, and uh, it was so nice, because every day I get up and I look in the mirror and I say, oh, Paula, you're just gonna be butt ugly the rest of your life. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> you got a bum eye <laughs> that you're not supposed to be putting makeup on. So, 73 and just butt ugly for life. <laughs> well, last night, Emily just fixed me up and I just almost felt pretty again. Um, so I tried to duplicate it today. Of course, it's nothing like Emily does, but you know what? I'm just, I'm just forewarning y'all. Some days you're gonna see me looking like I just crawled out of bed. And some days you're gonna see me where I tried to gussy up for you. But my hope is that uh, you enjoy these enough to put up with me being butt ugly straight out of bed day. <laughs> right? That's it. <laughs> because I've just got no intention to leave y'all. Nobody can make me leave except y'all. So, ooh, look. Look, look, look. You know, now a chess pie, y'all, I've always thought of a chess pie, uh, you know, having meal, cornmeal. Uh, Mama used to make them and she, I think she would just sprinkle it on the top. But you know, this, this recipe does not call for any meal. Nope, no meal. So I guess uh, chess pie recipes come in all different shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna stop right here, let this finish melting, and we'll come back to that after it's melted. <laughs> so good to be back, but I wanna tell y'all, I do appreciate my sons uh, taking full responsibility of this stove while I was out with my eye. And, uh, but you know, we're a team, the three of us, we're a team. So you'll be seeing them right on. <laughs> okay, gang, we're back here back on our chocolate chest pie that uh, Stacy Thompson sent me. And it is such an easy, easy pie. Of course, chest pies are easy anyway. Uh, and the only difference in a, a regular chest and a chocolate is you just have to melt your chocolate. So, and I am using a store-bought pie crust. And, uh, you know, it, this just works well in my life. It cuts a lot of time out, and uh, one of the dogs have found their noisy toy, so. <laughs> if you hear a lot of squeaking, it's not Teresa down there crying. It's, ah, 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 ooh. Listen, Max is, Max Give me that is, toy. Max is crazy. When he gets a toy, y'all, he mm -hmm. won't share it. He's already back around. And if, <laughs> Like when my children's dogs come over and they may have a toy with them, uh, Max will get their toy, he'll run, take it off, and then he'll pee on it, and then he keeps it. Like, no, you're not getting my toy back. 
This is my toy. Max. <laughs> Give has, me that toy, Max. Max has issues. <laughs> Give me that toy, Max. <laughs> Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're a lot of fun. Okay, back to our pie. So I have three eggs that are unbeaten. And I am just gonna, and Stacy says for us to just use a hand mixer on this recipe. And in goes her sugar. And remember, uh, it calls for one and a fourth cup of sugar, I think in the original recipe. But, Stacy took hers down to one cup. So I'm doing this just like Stacy. So remember, if this pie to your tongue is not sweet enough, you're safe to go ahead and add a fourth of a cup more of sugar. She added that extra chocolate. Maybe that took care she of it. She added the extra chocolate, yeah. So she felt like she had to take away something. All righty. Uh, let's see. Next goes our k syrup. And how much is that supposed to be? Quarter of a cup? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I was thinking I had seen three quarters of a cup. And I'll give y'all a little tip right here. We didn't do it, but it sure does help if you'll spray your measuring cups with a nonstick spray Ooh, before you yep, yeah, before you put honey or syrup or anything oh. like that that's sticky, it'll just cause it to flow right out. See? You needed to give a good tip. Yes. Me. I was helping you out. All right. Okay. So this is cooled down enough that we don't have to worry about tempering our eggs. So in goes our melted chocolate and our butter. And this is smelling Wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't it smell good, Eddie? Yes. <laughs> yum, yum. Whoa. Get every drop out. And then I think it calls for like a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. I'm trying to put a teaspoon because I like vanilla flavoring. And uh, the recipe, Stacy tells us to put this in a preheated oven, uh, preheated to 375 degrees. But now you know your oven better than we know it. So use your own judgment on whether you want to stay at 350 or 375. I'm actually starting this one out at 350. But you're going to be able to yeah, but I've also flipped this oven to convection, so that will make up. So that is it. Spent a lot of time talking. If I hadn't been talking, we could have made this pie in like two minutes. <laughs> really. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of our chocolate uh, gooey butter cakes. The way it smells. This has got Eddie's name written all, <laughs> all over it. Does, doesn't it? I almost, I, made, Oops. <laughs> I told him I might almost had to make two, and he was like, well, there is never enough chest pie in uh -uh. the house. So uh -uh. I think he's a little disappointed that we only Between got Eddie one. and Michael and me. Excuse me, let me look at the phone that maybe it is. Hello? Thank you. y'all. I want us to have every bite. Eddie was hoping you were going to leave a little bit for him to lick <laughs> Oh, he was? Oh, okay. Well, then yes, maybe I won't get that little bit right there. Maybe I'll just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there, Eddie. 
She ain't kidding. She ain't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey. What? Do we have company? Do we have company? All right. Uh, Stacy also says she recommends cooking it on a on a baking sheet, so it just makes it easier when you go to get it out of the oven. And I totally agree with her. I dripped a little chocolate on the crust, but I think it's okay. So she tells us to bake it uncovered for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, uh, Teresa turned on the oven, but she didn't put it to temp. So I don't know, I may should take it out. Yeah, I thought Teresa turned it. I did turn it, it on. Maybe, oh, it, it was on 200. Is this oven on? No. No. This one was turned on, but it was just turned on at 200 degrees. You know, where <laughs> your markings are a little fat. That is fancy uh, oven. <laughs> that is okay, Teresa. Uh, we fixed it. Yes. That is an easy fix. If, if that's the worst thing that goes wrong today, we are doing good, sister. Oh, All right. Pie, 10 huh? minutes later. Thank yes, you. and Stacy <laughs> said it's fabulous with um, vanilla ice cream and whipped cream and a little chocolate drizzled over it. Well, we'll be back to show them. Yes, we will. And um, I came out with a hand sanitizer, y'all. Uh, I take it on to Shop HQ and I am enjoy enjoying using it in the kitchen rather than having to walk off and wash my hands every few seconds. So this way I feel like I'm, I'm clean. And just makes me feel better. I gotta stay clean for all these grandchildren that we've got. So that's it. We're gonna bake it for 30 minutes and then Stacy said, every five minutes um look at it and determine she said it needs to jiggle just a little which sounds like our gooey butter cakes mm -hmm. we want to jiggle just a little bit but not much so and you'll be eating pie in 30 minutes baby or maybe 35 or maybe 40. <laughs> okay y'all <laughs> stacy thompson's uh, chocolate chest pie is ready. Hopefully it's cool enough for me to cut. And you know, I told y'all that we used a frozen pie crust. So, oh my gosh. And she said, leave it a little jiggly. You know, when you take it out of the oven and I have shared with y'all how I get that first piece of pie out of the pan. You know, it's you're gonna mess up one piece to be able to get to the rest of the pie. Well, I take my scissors and I snip. Uh-oh, <laughs> there went the crust. I snip where I have indicated where my piece of pie, what size my piece of pie is gonna be. And then you just wanna take that down, pull that down. And it makes it so much easier to get that first piece out. Oh, I didn't get all that. I left some. I didn't mean to. <laughs> there you go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not missing any of it. <laughs> wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> my glasses won't step on my nose. I'm starting to sweat. Oh <laughs> uh, gosh. I wish I could give you chocolate, baby, but I can't. 
I just can't. It's not good for you. All right. Pine ice cream. <gasps> many, many pies scream for ice cream. Or fresh whipped cream. Now, I, I've got the ice cream, but I don't have any fresh whipped cream. So, I'm going to cheat. I think this was bought for um, my grandchildren when they were over here, you know, and going to make something. So... And I am so hungry. Stacy girl. That is some more ever good. Stacy Thompson's chocolate chest pie. A handful of extra chocolate makes the difference. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Stacy cut the sugar by a fourth of a cup. I would have kept it. <laughs> because chocolate is really not sweet, it's bitter. So, if y'all make it, every tongue's different though. Look at this, you know, when I was on that food channel, they tried to teach me how to take princess bites, but I didn't know how. <laughs> I've never been a princess, so I didn't know where a princess bite was. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Thank you so much for sharing uh, that recipe. And I wanna thank the Angus Barn in Raleigh, North Carolina for sharing this recipe. Uh, with you so you could share it with us So thank you darling. I appreciate it and I'm sending everybody love and our best dishes <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as a notification bell to be alerted when I post a video Love and best dishes, y'all.